Hey everybody, it's me, Cullen, uh, coming today with another shave for you. Uh, today we will be featuring um, another exceptional product. Uh, this one coming from another great artisan soap maker, 345 Soap Company um, by owner John Patton. If you haven't tried any of his soaps, I highly, highly recommend it. Uh, his new Trinity base is hands down. Um, to me, it's just as good as soaps that run $25, $30 and up. He has in it you know, um, all the oils you would expect, coconut oil, shea butter, donkey milk, beef tallow, camel milk, goat milk, apricot oil, almond oil, jojoba oil, jojoba, however you say it, capacua butter, whatever that is, kokum butter. I believe it has vitamin E in it, but it's labeled as a different um, something else that's actually vitamin E. <clears throat> this is an excellent scent. I believe it's a um, cologne dupe. I don't know what it is. Um, I don't really pay attention to all that mess because uh, it doesn't matter because I don't remember. Um, all I know is that it's a very clean smell. Um, it's masculine. It's clean. It's crisp. It's a very, just very good smell. Um, today's razor, I'll be using the Blackland Blackbird Titanium with a Gillette 7 o'clock black, yes, Gillette 7 o'clock black blade in it. It'll be the second use. Bowl, I am using my uh, Twin Pines Wood Turning Green Resin Bowl. Brush today is my Leonidum 26 millimeter whatever knot is put in it from Leonida. It feels great. I'm uh, just gonna go ahead and put some warm water on here and we'll get into the into the shave. Um, this brush I got on the secondary market um, for a very good value or I wouldn't own one. I have a second item that I got on the secondary market um, that also I got it for what I was told because um, I didn't know what they ran but it's a 28 millimeter I believe this the brush is called a black lotus or something like that. But it was brand new, never wet, and got it for over a hundred dollars off of retail. Um, so win win for that. The knots from Leonidum are exceptional. Um, this scent, John Patton's um, 345 Soaps Trinity Base. Um, when he switched to the Trinity Base, it really surprised me um, because his his original base was already uh, phenomenal. And I don't have quite 24 hours worth of growth uh, because I shaved last night at like 7 p.m. I don't know what time it is today. Um, it's around noon or a little later. Um, We're just knocking the shave out early because around the time that I normally shave, it 
good Lord willing, um, I will be on the road to my mom's house. Um, in Memphis, my brother, who I haven't seen in probably six years, because he lives in Idaho, I believe it is, um, came down to visit her, or came across, whatever. Him and his wife, and so I'm gonna go see them. Uh, they've been in Texas visiting family. Um, so I'm going to go see them for a day or two before they fly out. And then I'll be back home. So I'm going to try to make my Friday and Saturday video um, at my mom's. I don't know how that's going to work. Um, we're sharing a bathroom with so many people, so I might not be able to. I'm bringing everything just in case I can. Uh, this, uh, this soap base uh, from John, I have it in What other sense do I have? I just got hometown. Final shirt. Um, I have Derby on the way. Can't remember what other ones I have that are his Trinity base. Uh, but it's just phenomenal. Uh, the slickness, um, it's slicker than a grease booger. It's uh, absolutely fabulous. And it has so much It has so much good stuff in there for your skin. I was talking to John the other night. On Messenger. And John is just a. Uh, a super nice guy. Um, real down to earth. Uh, he reminds me of. A friend here that. When I first met him, um, when he was dating a real good friend in the family that we've known for years and years. I told him, I said, there's no way you're a cop. He said, yeah, I am. I said, there's no way. He said, why? I said, because you're too nice. I said, all cops have the world's biggest chip on their shoulder, uh, whether they're at work or not. Um, I said, I've never known one that wasn't that way. And he said, well, now you have. And uh, John Patton, uh, that's the way he is. He's just a genuinely nice guy. Um, But when we were talking the other night, I was telling him about just how um, how much I enjoy his soap and the soap base, and I appreciate just his sacrifice, you know, because every day he puts
he puts his life on the line um, as a police officer. And that's a ginormous sacrifice. Um, You know, being a police officer isn't something that you do for the money. Because most of them don't get paid enough. Um, Let me rephrase that. None of them get paid enough. Um, but it's like being in the military, you do it um, for the love of the job, for the, the honor of the job, the selfless sacrifice. Um, just like school teachers. You know, do they, do they get paid enough to put up with all the BS they put up with? You know, some of these kids in school are little kids, third, fourth, fifth, sixth grade, and they're punching teachers, cussing them at, up and down because they know that the teacher can't do anything because they'll get sued. And now the way our crappy society has become, uh, police officers have to, um, they're afraid to do anything because everyone's suing them and everybody has a camera. Um, but anyways, I'm getting off track. But anyways, John Patton's a nice guy. I was talking to him about his soap. And I told him, I said, you know, when you changed, when I heard you change your soap base, it really surprised me. Um, one, because it didn't need to be changed. I said, and two, because you changed it to such great ingredients. Um, sorry. You changed it to such great ingredients without raising the cost of it to you know what you, you know I told him I said you could easily charge 25 to you know probably 40 dollars for this same size tub because you're giving people 5.8 ounces like sterling does um for I believe his I believe the soap is $16.95 um, and it has all the top tier ingredients in it. Um, you know, and I told him, I said, it's just mind boggling how you're able to do that. And he, uh, you know, he, he said to me, he said, you know, well, thank you. He said, I'm humbled that um, you appreciate the product that I make and um, you recognize, you know, the, you know, the value of it. But basically, you know, he ended up, I'm kind of adding words to his mouth, but through the conversation, that's what um, he had stayed in it. 
but he said that his goal um, through this has been to provide an exceptional product and maintain an affordable price. Um, and I appreciate that. Because I'm I'm on a limited income. Um, I'm a hundred percent disabled. That um, not able to hold down a full time job. Um, like I used to because of my disabilities. Uh, most days I can't drive um, because my neck doesn't turn enough. You know, my back's jacked up. I can't walk for long distances. After I make these videos, I have to put on the heating pad and um, electric shock machine to relax the muscles from where it's spasming so bad. Um, then my arthritis in my neck and it, it's a whole mess. But anyways, it's enough whining. Um, and so because of my income, um, I, I appreciate that. Uh, I know there's a lot of people out there that have more means than I do. Um, and to them, you know, it, it's, no big deal to spend forty dollars on a tub of soap. Uh, to me, if I had if I had disposable income, um, like when I was working, when I was making over a hundred k a year, um, while I was living in a place where you could own a home um, and survive off of, you know, 45K a year, I still wouldn't spend $40 um, on soap, on a four ounce soap. To me, that's crazy. $5 an ounce uh, to me is overpriced, but that's just me. But John Patton's soaps, I've never tried any of his that I did not like. I've bought ones that I thought I wouldn't like, like Old Red, uh, because pine, um, pine and roses are some of the worst scents on earth to me. Old Red was an absolute banger, as uh, people have coined the, the term in, in this hobby. It was unbelievable. His soaps are great quality, great ingredients, um, you know, so I highly recommend them. The Blackland Titanium, um, it's a exceptional razor. Um, it's good and light. I prefer the weight of this. This reminds me a lot of the Timeless Titanium because the handle's bigger around and just the size of it, it gives it more weight than a typical titanium razor, uh, which I appreciate. Um, and that's one thing that I liked about the Timeless Titanium, said it was heavier than your typical titanium razors. Uh, but it, it's a great razor. Um, today it felt more blade feely than usual, probably because of the blade that was in it, because you know everyone knows that the blade could change the feel of the razor. Uh, the Leonidum brush used today, um, after it's cleaned up, you can just see how dense and this knot um, that he puts in these is just so pillowy soft. Um, they say that they aren't treated, but I don't know, they sure clump up like they're treated. Um, Twin Pines wood turning. Uh, 
Don Bird. He's the artisan. He's 60, I believe, 70 something years old. He's on Etsy, Twin Pine Woods Turning. Uh, this is third or my third or fourth bowl that he's made for me. This one's deeper than usual. Um, I had to make it a little bit deeper. Um, $45. Uh, I think shipping and everything came out to $54. Um, amazing bargain, bargain for all resin hand turned bowl. Um, he pours, you tell him what color you want. He pours it and you're good. Um, but thank you for tuning in today for the shave. I've kind of rambled as usual. Those of y'all that know me know I'm going to kind of ramble a little bit. Um, I have planned for tomorrow's shave. I will do another three, four, five soap derby. Not sure of what brush. I packed several to go with me. I got to see which one matches the best. I believe I will be doing either the carbon razor tomorrow with it or the above the tie. What's that thing called? Windsor uh, razor with it tomorrow. And then the next day will be, I believe it's first line shave. The weight, I believe that's what it was called. And I'll be using wh whichever razor I didn't use and um, the brush. My bowl I'll be using during this time will be the Copper Captain's Choice HD bowl because it's easier to travel with and it's smaller. But as usual, I follow up all my shaves with warm water, cold water rinse, uh, witch hazel, and then my hyaluronic acid um, to my face. I've, I have really oily skin. And if any of y'all have oily skin, um, I bought this at TJ Maxx. Um, it was $5.99. It's vitamin E and hyaluronic acid. Um, after I shave, I put it all over my face and everything. And it's really helped my face not be so greasy looking by the end of the day. So if any of y'all have issues with oily, greasy skin, that's helped a ton. Um, you know, Zangari Man, um, Ariana and Evans, they sell uh, face oil stuff too, to help with that. And to help uh, us old people, it helps make your skin not look so old and wrinkly with the high, hyaluronic acid. Um, but thank you for tuning in for shave number six, seven. I don't remember what it was uh, with Pelagic Shave. And we'll see y'all next time. Take care, be safe, and God bless.